Hello! <laughs> That's so stupid. Hello. Hello everybody. I just, I feel kind of like crazy. I've been sick, I'm feeling better, I'm still in pain, but I'm feeling good. And as you can tell by today, today's, <laughs> today's, as you can tell, I don't even need to say today's, as you can tell by the title down below, I am going to make, be making a Vietnamese uh, roll. So, I don't know how to say it properly. I think it's like bar me, bar me, bar me. I don't really know. I just know as a Vietnamese roll. We've had them in Adelaide before. So, so good. And I want to try and make my own for the first time. So, I'm out of breath. So I'm just going to be using pork as the meat today. The ones we had in Adelaide, they had an option of like pork or chicken, but I had the chicken one, but I'm going to be cooking it with some pork. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited because there's like a lot of fresh veggies and I like using fresh veggies. So I'll show you guys the ingredients. For today's bar me, uh, Vietnamese roll, Vietnamese roll, I cannot talk. Uh, don't mind that, I use that for my cake. I mean, I didn't use that for my cake. What do I use them for? I use them for Easter. This stuff here. And they're a pain in the ass to get back in packaging. I have no idea how to store, like, all these tiny sprinkles. So if you guys have an idea, let me know. But anyway, ignore that. So these are the ingredients I'll be using today. Pretty sure I got them all here. Um, just in this bag, I got some long rolls from the... Um, our local bakery they're like crusty but they're really really soft in the middle salt and pepper a couple of limes honey I've got two types here just because this is like almost out I don't know I probably will need some more that's why I got the other one here soy sauce Japanese mayonnaise some sugar some rice wine vinegar I got some garlic some chili carrot cucumber spring onions the pork and coriander and with the pork I'm just using the pork fillet just because it has a bit of fat on it on a little bit um, and yeah, it was a pretty good try, as I thought. So, that is all... Oh, and ginger. Did I say that? I can't remember. So that's all we're using for today's roll, for today's dinner. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is start marinating the pork. So, in with the pork marinade, we are going to use soy sauce uh, and the honey. So we like a honey soy. I want to use one of these chilies. I use a long chilies just because the heat isn't very much. So I'm going to leave the seeds in. Um, so I'm just going to... I don't really know how I'm doing this. I'm just going to kind of wing it at the same time. Like I said, I haven't made this before. <clears throat> I've only had it that once in Adelaide earlier this year. And it was delicious. And I'm kind of scared of the knife, just putting the dishes away, I cut myself. It's like the tiniest cut. You guys probably wouldn't be even able to see it. But it hurts, and I'm kind of like petrified of the knives at the moment. <laughs> oh, oh, it's been so long as well since I last cooked a meal. Like, a proper meal. Because lately, Nick and I have just been having meat and steamed vegetables. That's it, because we attempted a diet and... I don't know. It didn't really work. I feel like he lost weight in his face. Like, you can kind of tell that it worked for him. Me, when I was at work, I was, like, eating donuts. Well, not too many. But, also, like, late at night, I was sneaking to the lollies that I got for my birthday and eat some chocolate. So, yeah. I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't see nothing on myself. But we are extremely bored and over. So, we're cooking again. And I'm very excited. This is probably going to be quite a chatty video too, just because I feel like it's been so long since I've filmed. And I'm really excited and I just feel like talking. So, yeah, just chat with me while I cook my tea. So anyway, I'm just like roughly chop that up. Um, the ginger is going to be in with this sauce as well. So it's like a thumb size, not really, it's a bit bigger. I never understand when they say thumb size, but this is like pretty much how big of the ginger I got and I'm just going to peel this and then roughly chop it as well and then you can like use a spoon to like get the peel a lot easier without wasting so much but this is just quicker Also, 
for the um the sauce like the marinade i'm using for the meat i watched a few cooking videos and a few recipes online on how to make this and every single one said something different so i'm just pretty much most of them all just say like a sweet sticky slightly spicy kind of marinade so this is just what i've kind of come up with um and just like the flavors that nick and i really like and yeah so it's probably not authentic but i don't really mind because it's smelling so good already i love ginger and it's probably gonna taste really good too so that's all that really matters and it still has like the vietnamese I cannot say that word. Vietnamese flavors into it too. Alright. <clears throat> um, what else goes in here? I want to squeeze a juice of one lime. And I got two limes here because one's going to be in with the sauce. And the other one is just like at the end if you want like that burst of freshness. Same with the chilies. I only used one. I'm going to leave the other chilli to put on your roll at the end, just for some like fresh crunch. So I'm just rolling the lime to make it juicy. Uh, what am I going to marinate it in actually? I might just marinate it in the container. So this is the uh, container I'm going to use. I'm going to bake it in the oven. Wait, oh no, I shouldn't preheat the oven yet because this has to chill for a bit. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is squirt the honey, oh this is going to be a pain, I'm just going to use the honey for now. So I got how much, just under 500 grams, so I've got maybe about 3 tablespoons of honey here and I'll do about 3 tablespoons of soy sauce as well. Maybe a little bit more. And then I just want to mix the honey and the soy sauce together to get that dissolved. And then I'll add in my ginger and, what is that, chilli and the lemon juice as well. But I just want to get this honey dissolved first. Oh, shit. And then we'll just lamb. My knives are so blunt. I can't even cut on my board. There we go. Um, actually, I might. There's half the juice, so where's the other half? I don't know. Oh. <clears throat> do limes have seeds like they do with lemons? I'm actually not sure. And also, if you don't want to use honey or you have no honey on hand, you can just also use just normal sugar or brown sugar, actually. Or if you don't have brown sugar, they're just normal sugar for some sweetness. Um, but yeah, just using honey. I don't know. Do I want me to? I'll just spray these bits of lime in. Oh. Oh, no, that's ginger. I thought that was a seed. Alright, so I'll mix this all up. And the sauce, I think now, is just uh, salt and pepper. All right, this spill's been bugging me. I'll clean that up. Uh, so pepper, I am running low in. But just some cracked pepper. I'm actually not going to put any salt in, any added salt, because soy sauce is obviously quite salty. Um, and yeah, I think for the meat, like the marinade, I think this is going to do it. It seriously smells so good. I guess I could have put garlic in as well. I don't have any fresh garlic though. After using like fresh garlic cloves for so long and then just going um, back to like the jar mint stuff, it's just, it's not the same. So, I don't know, if I had garlic, I probably would have put that in too. But I don't, so I'm just, 
you're not going to worry about it. So I'm just going to set this in the fridge and I'm going to occasionally, like every 15-20 minutes, just give it a turn and probably set it in for at least an hour, hopefully, while I do the other, like, the other stuff and get the other things ready. Alright, so I've just uh, cut up the carrots in like julienne matchstick kind of things. They are a bit chunkier than what I wanted. Um, I just done it by hand. I'm not very good at it, but anyhow, so we are going to slightly pickle these carrots, which I've never done before, but apparently it's really easy. So, rice wine vinegar, which I always keep in my pantry for when I make sushi. Um, you just want like enough liquid to kind of like coat the carrots well. You don't really want them soaking. So, how much is this? I'm just going to go for about a third of a cup. I might need to add some more later. But for now, a third of the cup. Just a little sprinkle of salt. Probably like half a teaspoon or something to a teaspoon. And I want a pinch of salt. That's a bit of a little bit. <clears throat> Just gonna chuck these carrots in and whoops. These carrots, I don't know, I would like them like a bit more thinner of a cut, but like I said, my knives are blunt and I'm kind of scared of the knife today, so yeah. So I'm just going to leave these onto on the bench, it doesn't matter if it gets to room temperature. Um and then that way I can keep mixing it as well every 10 minutes or so because they're not completely soaking. But yeah, apparently this is what you do for a quick pickle. So hopefully that works. So while that's doing that, I'm going to prepare the rest of my vegetables. So cucumber, um, I want to do it in ribbons. So, for that we just peel them with the peeler. Um, it's bloody plastic. So just with your normal peeler, it's dirty because I just used it for the carrot, so I'm just going to use it for this too. You just want to kind of press firmly to get them a little, oopsie, so that's a bit wonky. Hang on, let's do that again. <laughs> kind of press a little bit firm to get them. I'll uh, probably just chop that piece out. But that's kind of what we're, what we're wanting. Actually, I might keep that as a flat side to work on. So yeah, pretty much just like a nice ribbon of cucumber. Like this, so it's nice and thin and just delicious. And obviously with the quickies, just... Uh, do however much you think you're going to need. Um, I'm making three rolls tonight. Oh, some of them aren't really working out. Maybe I'm I don't know what's happening. This peel is very good. But I'm just going to keep going with this and prepare the rest of my vegetables. So the coriander, I'm just going to roughly chop, including the stems. Spring onion, just chop. Chili, just chop. And the last lime, I'm just going to like cut into wedges, kind of just for serving. And I don't know why this isn't working anymore. Hopefully, I can get this to work. All right, cucumber update. It just, it was a mess. I'm still obviously gonna use like the ribbons and the pieces of mosh that I have created. But it's just, it wasn't working. So I'm just cutting the cucumber in half and on this grater using this side, which I've never used this side before, and it's freaking scary, but just go like this. And it works super fast. It's a slightly thicker than the ribbons that I wanted, but it, oh, I got juice in my eye. Nine times out of ten, it's what I want it to 
do. Uh, but yeah, I get scared near the end, so I'm just gonna snap on that. Um, so yeah, this pretty much creates, they're still thin pieces, but little, little bits of cucumber. So, that's uh, yeah, just a cucumber update, because the other way, it was just, it failed. I don't know what was wrong, but it's obviously getting darker now outside, so the lighting change is pretty horrible. Um, with the meat, I've just taken it out of the oven about 10 minutes ago. It was baking in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Oh, my knife is so blunt. I'm just going to try this bit. Uh, 180 degrees Celsius for about 50 minutes. I'm going to try That's good. I like that. So the meat's still a bit warm. Whew. That chilli's actually hotter than I thought. I would like to keep this resting. Whew, that is spicy for a bit longer. But um, I'm just too hungry. I don't want to wait any longer. All right, so with the rolls now, I'm only going to do one. Um, we're gonna drop one off to Nick's mum, and Nick wants to build his own. I don't really know how to cut it. I might just cut it this way. So I'm just going to make mine up now. Yum. All right. So with the Japanese mayo, I want a decent amount on top and bottom because I just love this stuff. It is honestly like the best mayo. I originally, well I first tried it when I made sushi and it is just such a good mayonnaise. I use it for like any time I want mayo. Um, so yeah, definitely use the Japanese mayo when you make this. Although I obviously haven't even eaten some that with this, I already know it. it's going to be delicious because it is just so good. Right. <clears throat> so then I'm going to layer my pork. Oh, the pork's so hot still and just delicious. Some smaller pieces too. And on top of that, I'm going to put on the cucumber. spring onions I'm gonna get out some carrot I really did wish I'd done these carrots a bit thinner but oh well and as with the carrots uh, I think I feel like they were pickling for a little bit too long so I ended up taking them out um, and just soaked them in a bit of water but when you still bite into it, you still get like that pickle flavour, so that's really good. I might just, um, just for like presentation wise, get another piece of meat right here. Have some grain on top. Just so you can, you know that there's meat in here. Oh, well, that should be alright. <clears throat> oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Uh, what else do I want? I want some chilli. Some nice fresh chili and coriander. This roll is a freaking huge. And then just with lime, I'm just gonna squeeze on some fresh lime juice, like so. So <clears throat> that's pretty much the roll. 
I'm just trying to get it like pretty for presentation like for photos to bring the meat up a little bit to actually tell what's in here but um yeah so that's pretty much it for the for the uh what is it a bar me so look how good that looks so you got your uh, your meat, uh, cucumber, spring onion, carrot, chili, and coriander. This is freaking huge, but yes. All right, so that's pretty much all for today's video. Um, all right, I'm excited. I'm going to take some photos of this and get Nick to make his, clean up, eat, and yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Hang on, I'll do this. So thank you guys, this is so awkward. I always do awkward angles. And sorry for this lighting to be so red as well. Like I got the camera on like a manual thing and I'm going to manually change the lighting. I haven't learned how to do that yet. So we're going with some redness. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to see my other videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.